For years, just mentioning Rolex conjured images of sky-high prices and endless waiting lists. But there's been a massive shake-up in the luxury watch world. Believe it or not, several Rolex models are now selling for less than their official retail prices. In today's video, we're diving into this surprising trend, examining the factors behind the shift and identifying which specific models are seeing price drops. Rolex watches, long viewed as the pinnacle of luxury, are becoming more accessible. Changes in market dynamics, supply chain adjustments and evolving consumer preferences have all played a role. For years, the demand for Rolex watches far outstripped supply, leading to inflated prices on the secondary market. However, recent changes in production and distribution have leveled the playing field somewhat, making prices more approachable. But not every Rolex model is experiencing this dip, but notable ones like the Rolex Submariner and the Rolex GMT Master II have seen their prices decrease, delighting enthusiasts and opening doors for those who once thought owning a Rolex was out of reach. This trend could be signalling a new era for the Rolex market, where accessibility is key, potentially attracting a more diverse group of collectors and enthusiasts. Now looking ahead, the big question remains whether these price adjustments will persist. If they do, we might be witnessing a significant shift in the luxury watch landscape, with Rolex leading the charge. For now, it's an exciting time to be a watch enthusiast. If you've been thinking about adding a Rolex to your collection, now might be the perfect moment. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on luxury watches and insider tips. Now, before you rush off to the nearest authorized dealer, Let's dive into these Rolex models and their price adjustments. Number one, Rolex Explorer series. Let's talk about the Rolex Explorer series, starting with the 40 mm model. It's a fan favorite, currently priced at $8,300. However, if you're eyeing it as an investment, you might want to reconsider. The resale value isn't looking too hot and might even dip below retail soon. So unless you've already got one on order and are about to pick it up, it might not be the best option for a quick flip. The same goes for the 36mm version. Keep an eye on it as its price might also fall below retail soon. Now let's move over to the Explorer 2, specifically the 42mm Polar model. It's a solid watch, but the value of the black version has taken a hit. It's no longer holding its $10,500 retail price, expect it to go for around $8,700. If you're considering selling, those are the figures to keep in mind. However, if you're thinking about purchasing, do so only if you really appreciate the watch and intend to hold on to it for a long time. It's akin to getting a puppy. Commitment is key. As for the steel and gold range, there are a few older models with black and white dials that are holding their value around retail, mainly because they're discontinued. However, the newer models like the Champagne version aren't faring as well. The black style version is worth keeping an eye on, though. All in all, if you're investing, tread carefully. If you're buying because you love the watch, then these fluctuations might not bother you too much. Number 2. Rolex Datejust Let's shift gears into the Rolex Datejust collection. Right now, it's the models with smooth bezels that are eye-catching. Think cool dials in shades like Blue, Mint and Wimbledon, or those sporting unique motifs, these are the ones catching everyone's eye. These smooth bezel versions are getting harder to find, and there's talk some might even be discontinued soon. They're priced between $7,300 and $7,150, not counting those with the Oyster bracelet. But here's a heads up. If you're thinking of grabbing one to flip for a profit later, you might want to temper your expectations. Even though these dials have an exclusive vibe, they're not expected to shoot up in value dramatically, so if you're getting one, it's probably more for the joy of the collection than the thrill of the chase. Before we continue, why not become part of the opulent Oasis community? Subscribe for the latest insightful updates. Now let's dive back in. Number 3. Rolex Day Date Next up is the Rolex Day Date. The Day Date with the black dial is currently facing some challenges. Meanwhile, the Rolex Air King, a piece that definitely divides opinion, is navigating similar waters. 
The new 40mm version, strengthened with a sports professional case and crown guards, is listed at $88,000. If you're eyeing it as a potential investment, keep your eyes peeled. Its price might dip below retail before you know it. As for the deep sea range, the James Cameron edition with its stunning blue and black dial is performing decently, particularly the second generation model. Despite decent sales, it's been floating around or just under retail, reflecting broader market trends. The latest model, tagged at $15,800, seems set to follow suit. Number four, Rolex GMT Master. Let's delve into the GMT Master range, which has been quite the hype lately. Last year, these watches were all the rage, fetching prices well above retail in January and February. Now take the root beer model, for instance. It's sporting a sleek rose gold and stainless steel combo and is currently priced at $4,300. It aligns closely with the list price, perhaps even slightly above. This model has been popular among enthusiasts, but given the current price stability, it would be wise to monitor it closely. But it might just dip below retail soon. Then we have the eye-catching GMT Master II in 18 karat yellow gold and stainless steel, featuring a striking two-tone bezel and a Jubilee bracelet. After a price hike earlier this year, it jumped from $138 to $146 on January 1st. Now it's pushing the upper limits of its list price, peaking at about $59,500. Both of these GMT Masters are quite the stars, however, they are currently close to their maximum price limits in the market. So if you're considering one, they're definitely worth shortlisting. Just maybe hold off on pulling the trigger and watch the prices for a bit longer. Number 5. Rolex Skydweller Next up, let's explore the Skydweller range. You might be intrigued to learn that several of the steel models are currently priced very close to if not slightly below their retail marks. Take, for example, the black model on the Oyster bracelet, which is listed at $117,000. To put it simply, these steel sky dwellers aren't a surefire way to make a lot of money in the watch market. There's not much profit to be made from them right now unless you're collecting just for the love of it. If you're considering the black or a similar white model, be aware they might dip below retail soon. This is a clear sign of the market's current mood, relaxed and somewhat tepid. Number 6. Rolex Daytona Now let's talk about the Rolex Daytona, particularly if you're eyeing something special like the yellow gold versions priced at $33,300. It pays to be savvy here. Whether you're looking at the champagne, white, black or the diamond studded dials, these models are worth keeping on your radar, especially with the recent price bumps. The diamond dial has seen a significant increase in value. Then there's the yellow gold model affectionately dubbed the Pikachu, which is quite the hot item right now. If you're thinking about snagging one to sell later, it's a strong candidate to consider. All these versions are shaping up as smart picks if you're aiming to make a splash in the grey market. Number 7. Rolex Yachtmaster 40 Wrapping up with the Yachtmaster 40, Let's check out a couple of options that are currently on our radar. First, we've got the versions with the steel body and platinum bezel, available in either blue or rhodium dials. Honestly, these aren't your best bet if you're looking to make a quick profit. They're more about style than investment right now. Switching gears, let's talk about the steel and rose gold combo. This one's a bit more of an investment, but it's got a unisex charm that makes it slightly smaller on the wrist, appealing to both men and women. Despite its sleek look, don't count on it to bring in a big return if you're planning to flip it. This one might be worth keeping an eye on, as its price could drop below retail soon. Lately, we've seen quite a few steel watches and entry-level models, especially the steel and gold ones, popping up on everyone's shortlist. It's a clear sign of the current watch market vibe. That's why we suggest thinking twice before picking up these models just for a quick flip. Many of these entry-level pieces are selling for roughly what you'd pay at retail, or sometimes even less, not long after you buy them. It's like buying a new car and watching its value plummet the moment you hit the road. But if one of these watches catches your eye and you're really digging the style, then by all means, go for it. Make it yours, wear it proudly, and let it tell a part of your story. Now that we're at the end, 
it's important to keep in mind that the pricing dynamics of Rolex watches can vary depending on the model, dial color, and bracelet type you're eyeing. Plus, the market's always on the move, so prices can swing back and forth over time. Today, we've highlighted how several Rolex models are trending below their official retail prices in 2024. What do you think about the trends we discussed today? Drop your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, we'd love to hear about it. Don't forget to follow us and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed our chat. Once again, this is the Opulent Oasis, and we can't wait to dive into more discussions with you in our upcoming videos.